Hey, how's it going, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Rose, and if this is your first time stopping by, welcome from wherever you're coming from. Um, and uh, if you would like to subscribe, don't forget to hit the subscribe button before you leave because new videos get posted three times a week. Uh, Monday, Wednesday, and possibly Thursday or Friday. I don't know exactly yet for sure which day I'm gonna set the third video date for, but it will be there. So, in today's video we're gonna be making a delicious, super, super easy to make uh, pasta, like Alfredo pasta, or a spaghetti Alfredo pasta. So, it's gonna be delicious and let's get veggie. All right guys, so I'm telling you this is super duper easy. First thing we're gonna do is drop in two tablespoons of butter, and this is non-dairy butter, of course. And I'm also gonna be tossing in about five ounces, ah, five ounces minus a quarter of a mushroom that just fell. So five ounces of mushrooms, and these have been quartered. So I've just cut them into four pieces each. And I'm gonna let these cook. I'm not gonna touch them too much after I kind of like spread them out a little bit. I'm gonna let these cook. This is on high, and this is gonna cook for about three to four minutes. Uh, and then we're gonna flip them and cook them for another three to four minutes on that side. And you wanna look to see if like the bottom is drying out, the bottom of your pan is drying out too fast. And if it is, just add a little extra dollop of butter or olive oil. Um, I just added a tiny bit more of uh, butter, maybe like a teaspoon, just so that my pot doesn't like burn at the bottom. All right, and now it's been about three or four minutes and you can actually see that our mushrooms have turned to this beautiful kind of like golden color. And that's what we're looking for, but we're trying to get that on, I guess like at least two sides of these mushrooms, nice and brown. All right, so these look just about right. And now, the next thing that I'm gonna be adding into these is I'm gonna add my uh, cream cheese. You can add salt at this point, of course. Um, <laughs> I didn't bring my salt in here with me, but of course you're gonna add a, a pinch of salt. Pretend, pinch of salt, okay? I have a half a cup of, uh, I'm actually gonna put this down to a medium, and I've added half a cup of, forget what that's called, uh, non-dairy cream cheese and on the side I just pushed it to the side and I'm adding three garlic cloves that have been minced I actually grated these instead um, just to be easier you know to for an easier kind of quick thing and I'm just gonna let them sit there they're already getting really fragrant I'm gonna add in two tablespoons of nutritional yeast and one teaspoon of uh, dry basil that's going in there and we're just gonna let uh, again, I put it on medium, and we're just gonna let our uh, sauce um, become like uh, kind of like loosen up a bit. At this point, I'm gonna add about a fourth of a cup of unsweetened almond milk, and that's gonna help our uh, sauce kind of like loosen up even further. Oh yes. Oh, that looks so good. It smells delicious. Woo! All right, now I'll do our pinch of salt. And I'm also gonna add in a small handful of chopped fresh parsley. Just like that. Oh yeah. Another crack of pepper. You just wanna taste it and salt and pepper it to taste. And also, if I were to be making this completely for myself, I would add in like a pinch of uh, cayenne pepper just to give it a little extra oomph. And so I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off. And I'm gonna add in, just make sure your hands are clean if you're doing it this way, add in whichever pasta you like. So any pasta you prefer, you add it in there, however much you prefer. And then you mix it all up and you have yourself some delicious Alfredo pasta, mushroom Alfredo pasta. Next, of course, we're just gonna plate this bad boy and give it a taste. What makes pasta a boy? Why did I just call the pasta a bad boy? Ah! 
Oh. Oh boy. Looks so good. All right, so here we have our delicious pasta. Another thing that you guys could actually do, maybe if you use like soy milk or something like that, um, some, some milks will add like a bit of a sweetness to your dish. And to avoid that completely, what I would do is instead of adding milk, like the fourth of a uh, cup of milk, um, maybe you could do some vegetable broth, or not maybe, you could definitely do some vegetable broth to thin it out. And that way you'll avoid any sweetness from any non-dairy milk you may be using. All right, time for the taste test. Mm. Wow. There's something about creamy food that one misses when they go vegan. And then you make food like this and you're like, how did I ever miss creamy food when I first became vegan? Like how? Why did I not know these secrets that the vegan world holds? <laughs> I'm just being weird. But yeah, this stuff is so, so good. It's so like, it's so like satisfying on your palate because it's so creamy and so good. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. You guys have to try this out. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to share this video if you make this recipe or any of my other recipes on Instagram using the hashtag Team Veggie Rose. I love you guys all so, so much. And I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye. <laughs>